Am I the asshole? For refusing to resign at least weeks before leaving my pregnant sister homeless. I have an Irish twin. We've been living together for two years. She is a single mom of a toddler. When we first moved in together the apartment was only in her name and she let me live with her. I was finishing dental assisting school and couldn't qualify for an apartment on my own. I still paid half the rent and utilities. After graduating and getting a job I became an official added roommate to the lease last year. I make a lot of money for my age so when my sister was struggling to pay her half of the rent when her job cut her hours significantly it was a no-brainer to start paying more. I could easily afford all the rent so covering another 25 is nothing. Plus I love her and my niece. My sister has no help whatsoever from the father so I help her as much as I can. He works under the table so he doesn't get his wages garnished for child support. I have watched her struggle to afford daycare and food for her baby so I also help her with that. Two days ago my sister sits me down and tells me she has news. She's pregnant. My jaw dropped. I ask who the dad is and she starts crying. I didn't expect her to say her deadbeat baby daddy. I was shocked and she continued on her explanation she saw a girl commenting under his posts and she went on her page and saw they had taken pictures at the same place at the same time. The girl also posted him for his birthday weeks later saying happy birthday to my fiancé. She messaged her letting her know he's a deadbeat and got blocked. Then her baby daddy called her saying she's a crazy bitch and that led to them getting a hotel room and they slept with each other. Alter proves some point to his fiancé that he's not loyal and she can have him whenever she wants because she sent her proof after they slept together but the fiancé stayed with him. As she's telling me this story I just sit there upset. I started asking her if she went to the doctor and how far along is she. She said she did stop by PP and got a scan, she's nine weeks. We live in a blue state so abortion is legal here. I told my sister that I wasn't going to be resigning the lease unless she got an abortion. She looked at me with so much disgust and started crying harder. She called me an evil bitch and said I'm a horrible person for making her choose between her baby or having housing. I told her with her hours now she can't afford even half the rent let alone the daycare she splits between me, our dad, and aunt so to understand the position she's putting me in since the responsibility is falling on me. She told our family and they're pissed saying him being heartless to even ask her that and that I shouldn't punish her and if I should sign at least six months so she can get her shit together since five weeks isn't a lot of time. I said no, she's ungrateful for all the help I've done so him out. They're saying him an asshole since when I didn't qualify she let me live with her even though I paid half. Not the asshole. She gets to choose to sleep with a deadbeat and raise his baby. You get to choose to move out. Seems fair. Your family who think she needs support can jump in at any time and pay her rent. Not the asshole, the family can support and house her since they are so concerned. There is no need for you to carry on supporting someone who is taking an advantage of you and has no intention of becoming independent. Natar. I can have your deadbeat fiancé come in me any time I want is not a flex. Not the asshole. She's literally fafo. She can't support herself but wants you to be her financial slave. Run, do not walk. She's never going to learn and it's not your responsibility to support her crazy level of stupid stupid level of crazy. Good luck. Not the asshole your sister banged a deadbeat and has a toddler with him, then gets jealous that he's with someone else and inserts herself into his life to show how scummy she really is, then gets knocked up again to prove a point that the deadbeat baby daddy isn't worth anything to his fiance. Up, move out and stop supporting your sister. She's obsessed with her baby daddy and needs some therapy. Like damn reading this reminded me of an episode of Jerry Springer. Not the asshole. Your message might have gone down a little easier if you just said you would not continue to support rather than abort or no support even if it is essentially the same message, but you are under no obligation to support someone who repeatedly makes poor choices and bad decisions. 
If she has this baby who's to say she won't stupidly sleep BC with the jerk again in a couple of years and make baby three. She doesn't sound intelligent enough to be a good mother. Your sister has a kid with someone that doesn't support the kid and went and got knocked up by the same loser? Holy shit. Leave. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She's not really getting her shit together at this stage enough to get back on her feet on her own with having a toddler, and now being pregnant. You would be footing the bill for most of her costs, and you're not even the father. Thank you for refusing to fund this train wreck. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. TBH, it's a reach, but it sounds like your sister was mad that he was willing to propose to someone else and purposely got pregnant just to sabotage. Why else would you meet up and go at it unprotected again with a deadbeat? Either she expected you to take up the baggage or she has zero self-control. The abortion comment was kind of our move, but it's understandable why you made the suggestion. Finally, the other family members should pay if it's so cruel to leave her in the dust. Natar your family is welcome to step up and financially support and house her. Your sister went through all that, to get revenge on this guy, or to try to get him back, or to break up his engagement. You might want to consider moving out early, and packing up things you can't replace easily early. If she will go through this kind of scheming, to try to break up her ex's new relationship, she might consider some schemes to hurt you, when you won't keep on paying for her support. Not the asshole. If she's mature enough to put herself in a situation ship, she's mature enough to handle the consequences. One oops is something, but two? Come on. Living in fairyland. Not the asshole move out and stop giving her any money. Tell your sister you love her but you can't keep putting your life on hold for her her children. Tell her you will always be there aunt she needs to get child support from the baby daddy. Tell any family member who complains you are abandoning her, that she can move in with them. If she's hinging on you giving her free housing so she can raise a kid, not the asshole. Don't bring a child into poverty. Don't have children unless you can provide for them, and raise them. I might be downvoted for this but I don't care. Tell your family they can support her, since they seem so anxious for you to do it. She's choosing to have a second baby with the deadbeat dad of her first baby. That is her choice, not yours. You are not obligated to continue subsidizing her. As to what she did for you, you paid half and it was as much for her own benefit as it was for yours. And even if it wasn't, you've made up for it since then. Not the asshole. Stand your ground. Not the asshole. This is your sister's mess due to her poor decision making. You're not responsible or obligated to keep providing for her. Other family members are more than free to open their homes up to her or subsidize her living costs. You were harsh, but not in a hole. Not the asshole. You've been paying 75 of the rent and she got cozy enough to get pregnant again, assuming you'd keep it up. And you're not going to. Run. You are not the asshole, start running. Because if you are there when that second child arrives you can say goodbye to ever getting out again. You think the emotional blackmail is bad now?